guys, so I know I'm like in a totally different setting than what you're used to. Um, I am at my sister's house filming and I wanted to film a video real fast for you guys. So today I wanted to do a story time video. I know I look gross with my sweats and my hair up. But anyways, so I just wanted to film this quick video. It's not that long of a story, but this is my paranormal experience. Now I have a, quite a few of these stories I can tell you. I feel like paranormal stuff really doesn't scare me that much. But this story I'm about to tell you, give me a little bit of anxiety, I'm not going to lie. So, um, this story kind of takes place at work, so to give you a little background history on what I do, without giving away where I work, um, I work at a rehab and therapy facility, so I take care of people, um, I work in activities, so I have fun playing bingo and going shopping and out to dinner and just getting them out, moving and doing things. So that gives you a little background on what I do. There's some nights that I have to stay there late, and this particular day was a late night. Um, it was a bingo night. I was calling bingo. So it was around 7.30 at night. I was cleaning up from bingo, and I was the only one in there at work besides, like, the nurses. And they're all the way down the hall because our activities room is on the other end of the building where, like, nobody is. There's probably, like, four rooms down there. Anyways, um... I was cleaning up from bingo, and all my residents have already left me, and we had a resident in the room next door passing away. Well, I had, like, this basket of the bingo balls, and they, like, you know, you pick a bingo ball out, it has the number and the um, letter. Well, I dropped that, and all the bingo balls rolled to the back door in the activities room. So here is the wall where I'm sitting, and when I call bingo and then when I clean up and here's the back door over here here's the front well they all rolled to that back door and it was snowing outside we had a decent amount of snow on the ground this was last year probably around December I would say well I seen a pair of legs walk past the back door and it looked like they were wearing black pants and black shoes well, that's the normal attire for our kitchen staff. So I figured somebody in the kitchen snuck past me to sneak outside and smoke because we're not allowed to smoke on campus, but there's quite a few people that sneak and do that. Well, I was like, maybe somebody in the kitchen, you know, me trying to reassure myself it's nothing bad. Well, I pick up all of these little bingo marbles that I dropped and there was no footprints in the snow. I will say that the next day I investigated to see if there's footprints. There was no footprints. Um, I look up behind me in the reflection of the door. And behind me stood this big, tall, black figure. Like, all black. This thing had to have been, like, seven or eight feet. I swear. It, like, hovered over me. And it was gone like that. Split second. Gone. And... To be honest, I felt it in my chest. My chest felt so heavy that I just picked up the bingo ball, sat them on the table, left the room. Next day when I came in, I told my boss, you know, I'm sorry I didn't clean up. And she said, I noticed you didn't clean up. What happened? And I told her that I seen something. And she told me to explain. And so I told her my story. And she said, are you kidding me? And I said, no. And she said, the nurse just came to me before you came in and described the same exact thing. But she seen it coming down the hall and it went into the room of the person that was passing. And then she went in the room and the person that was passing was talking to somebody and there was nobody there. And he passed away shortly after that. So another girl I work with, she's very spiritual and believes like, and I believe too, but, um, she, like, does research on this stuff. She's so into it. And I am, too. And, um, so we sit there and talk about it. And she said, well, that sounds like the dark angel or the angel of death, where they come when somebody's passing and, um, kind of just comfort that person before they go. And so I guess a lot of people have seen this at my work. And this is my, like, first time seeing it. And it's dark outside and late at night. So, yeah. It... I, I believe in what I saw. I don't know. You guys let me know if you've had any of these experiences before. But especially if you work in, like, 
nursing homes or places where people go to pass a hospital. I've heard so many stories about these and they so interest me. So leave your stories down below if you want or if you have a video about your story, leave it a link down below and I'll totally watch it. And if you want more videos like this, then give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I'm telling you, story times, those are my things because I've had a lot of things happen in my life. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.